Identify familiar forces that cause objects to move, such as pushes or pulls, including gravity acting on falling objects. Observe pushes and pulls causing motion of objects. This is a model Jeep. It's not a real Jeep, it's just a model. And it's resting until I push it with my hand. When I push it with my hand, it causes motion. The Jeep moves forward. I can pull the Jeep, and as I pull it back, I'm causing motion again. Pushes and pulls causing motion. When I release this Jeep, it zooms forward by itself because it stores mechanical energy. When you back it up, it winds the wheels up and that gives it mechanical energy. So I can pull the Jeep causing motion. I can, I can pull the Jeep straight up causing motion. I can let the Jeep go back down gently. I'm not letting go of it. It's not falling, but gravity is acting on that object. I can push the Jeep from this side, but see how it's harder to move? The friction between the wheels and the surface that it's on oppose that motion. The wheels don't want to turn, and of course those rubber tires make it want to kind of just sort of stagger along. Now, let's try something completely different and yet sort of the same. So here's another Jeep except this one's a real Jeep. This is my Jeep, Hawkeye. And Hawkeye's a lot bigger than the other Jeep. That was just a model. Do you think I'm gonna be able to push it with one finger? Nope, can't do it. But if I give it a little bit more energy, use all that energy, that's mechanical energy right there. I am pushing that Jeep and I caused motion. There, I did it. Now let's see if I can push it back the other way. Let's try that again. Think I can do it with one finger? No, of course not. It's far too large. It has way too much mass for me to push it with just one finger. But when I put all my weight and muscles behind it, I can cause motion in that Jeep and move it down the street. Don't roll back on me, please. Please stop. There. See, gravity was pulling it. It was rolling back. That was gravity. Now, let's try that again. Can I pull it? I gave it a push. Can I pull it? Takes two hands, and it takes a lot of muscle, but yep. I can cause motion in that Jeep by pulling it, just like I did in the model Jeep. Now you can see why scientists sometimes use models and not the real thing because the models are easier to use. Let's give it a push. Almost time to put that Jeep away. Let's push that Jeep back into place. Now, that, the wheels on the Jeep, of course, make the work of moving that Jeep a lot easier. Those wheels help overcome the friction and gravity of the moving Jeep. All right, I got to put this thing away. It's time to put it away. See you guys. You didn't think I was going to try to lift that straight up in the air like I did with the model Jeep, did you?